Hello and welcome to On The Mic, a Zoomcast that spotlights students, services, and staff of Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Highlands offers adults 22 years of age and older the opportunity to earn their high school diploma, learn English as a second language, and learn a skill. My name is Mike Bressler and today we're joined by Zora and Rohin. How are you two? We're doing great, thank you. So nice to, to finally meet you and, and I've heard so many great things about you. Um, let's just start off by saying um, you went to SICA, right? You, you were both in independent study, correct? Yes. And you both graduated and walked the stage, correct? Yes, we did. Fantastic. So, so let's start before you came to Highlands and before you en enrolled in SICA and finished with SICA. Uh, what, what countries are you, uh, are you from? We are from Afghanistan <laughs> originally. Okay. Yes. Okay, so Afghanistan, mm -hmm. um, what, uh, and so you speak, uh, is it Farsi Dari? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay. How, how long ago did you come over to the United States? Uh, we arrived to U.S. on December 1st, 2015. So, so 2015, you, and, and uh, who'd you bring with you when you both came over? We, it was just our immediate family, me and my wife and our two kids. So, so your two kids at the time, correct? Yes, yeah. two at the time and the third one was born here. And, all right, so so to tell our viewers, you have three kids, uh, what are their ages and what are they male or, or are they boys or girls? We have two daughters and a son, um, or two daughters, um, 17, 15 and a uh, our, our son is six year old. Fantastic, fantastic. So, so you came over in 2015. Um, Raheen, what'd you do before you came, like your occupation, what'd you do before you came over to the United States? Perfect. Uh, so post 9-11, I started working as, a, as an interpreter and translator with the United States Armed Forces. Um, and uh, gradually I moved up doing other jobs with them. Um, and it continued for like 13 years um, doing all those jobs like DEA, um, counter narcotics missions. Um, some of it like I cannot mention here. Top um, secret. Yes. <laughs> Um, it was it was a great experience. I met a lot of great people, made some great friends, um, still in touch with them, and eventually I got a, a special immigration visa through the uh, work I did. Um, there are a lot of people who came through that process, and some are still stuck there. Um, I hope they can make it and. Um, yeah, it was it was a great experience. Um, as soon as I arrived to the U.S., it was a great relief for me to to bring my kids and my family. Um, yeah, and Rohan, let me jump in for a second. And you said so. You said that some of your friends are still stuck there. Um, yes. Tell us a little bit about what it was like living in Afghanistan. And then, and then the sense of relief, and maybe why there was such a relief when you when you got to the United States. The sense of relief. Uh, there's a lot of things that go in it. Like um, there's a. We should start with with the day to day basics that uh, Afghans do not have have access to, like um, let's say doing laundry, tap water electricity those are not easily accessible to to a regular afghan like if you're living in afghanistan uh and it's very time consuming to go through those things and life becomes harder and harder to to move um security the biggest issue women has no rights they cannot drive um and of course Taliban is back now and they're just uh, restricting everybody, like especially women, girls, they cannot go to school, they cannot work. 
they're basically told to stay at home. If they go out, if there has to be someone from the household and it has to be a male. Um, they cannot go outside the home alone by themselves. Well, I can't um, imagine what that's like in Zora. So that that must have been no fun for you. Exactly. Like uh, when we were there, like even though when Americans were there before Taliban came. So it was something challenging. Like whenever I wanted to go to office, sometimes as a mother, like I couldn't catch up with the shuttle. So uh, I was like wondering how to get to office because I always had to call my husband to leave his work and come drop me to my office because it's like something challenging for a woman to go stand like in the street waiting for a taxi or something like always there should be a mail with you to like like someone to escort you to like going to grocery going to shopping whatever you have to depend to a mail to do all those and driving like i used to do back like it's really it's not common for women to drive in afghanistan but i used to do for a little bit while because for daily tasks like I, I couldn't like I depend on him for everything. So sometimes, but I did for a little bit while, but it was like really, like something really challenging. You can't do that. Then like I see the things that it's not something easier to do that. So I left it back. But here, like, see, I can go daily basis for my grocery shopping. I was just, <laughs> Zora, I was just gonna ask you, so, so knowing what you had to go through in, in, in Afghanistan, now it, it, it's a complete reversal of that. And you can get in your car and go anywhere you want. <laughs> sure, <Yes. yeah. laughs> I mean, what, that's amazing to me. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I, it's so it's so great that, that that thank you for explaining that because it's, you know, I don't think some of us understand just how and as a mother as a mother like whenever i used to see my, my daughters so when we came they were younger and when i was thinking about their future like once they grow up so how could they manage living here like even till school if they wanted to go to school there had to be somebody like male to like take them to school and drop them back home uh, but now my daughters, like whenever I explain them about the situation there, or whenever they ask me if they want to go visit their grandparents there, and whenever I explain them, like at your age, if you want to go there, what challenges you have to face? And they even can't imagine. And they were like, mom, how did you guys manage to live there? <laughs> and it wasn't easy. Uh, and it wasn't easy. Let me, let me just say so. So you came over to the United States and you found Highlands. How did you found, um, find out about Highlands? <laughs> okay, so um, my plan A, uh, as soon as we got to the United States was to go and join the US Army Special Forces. And um, I worked on it. I did my ASVAB and everything and plans changed. We found out that Zora was pregnant with our son and we thought like okay if, what if I get deployed and everything and she was totally new it was just like initially when we arrived so she was supposed to get her driver's license and everything so it was like a hard time for her and for me to make a decision and then we said okay uh, we're not going to do that. And then we ended up opening a restaurant in Rancho Cordova, California. We moved from Houston, Texas to Sacramento area. And uh, I had a restaurant for like almost five years. And then, so basically to do the restaurant was kind of like a stepping stone to uh, wait for my US citizenship so I can become a police officer. Because to become a police officer, you have to be a US citizen. Of course. And, and so, so let me just let me jump in again, Raheen. And so, are you now a US citizen? Yes. So as soon as, thank you. Uh, yeah. As soon as uh, like so, then COVID hit. I'm just gonna go quick through the uh, journey. 
um, the COVID hit and I couldn't just drain all my savings, you know, for the restaurant. And it was right with it, with the time, like it was time for my citizenship and her, uh, I was like, okay, it's time. I'm gonna close the business, gonna get the citizenship, apply with the stack sheriffs and I applied. They went through my application. Everything was good until they came back to me like, oh, you need to have a high school diploma or GED or whatever from here, from America. And I was like, Man, I did high school like 20 years ago. Please don't make me do that. But based on the California post requirement, um, it is a actual requirement so that you have to have it. So they uh, referred me to Highlands and uh, they were like, contact them and tell them your situation and they will help you out. So I contacted Highlands and they were like, yes, we have a independent study program that you can do your high school online, which is self-paced. And I was still kind of like worried, like, is there like a limit how fast I can go and finish it? And I went, uh, there was there was a lady in the reception. I went, uh, Diana. Um, I went, spoke to Diana at Sika and she was very helpful and she had a lot of information. She helped me out really good about it. And I was like, I really want to finish it as fast as I can. Is there like a limit, like on weekly basis or monthly, like that I cannot go beyond that? It's like, no, it's up to you as fast as you can. Like, you need, uh, we will catch up with you. Like, just finish it as fast as you can because I need to get with the Sacramento Sheriff. And, um, so, can, so, uh, so, so, so let me, let me just add, good boy. I mean, what an impressive story. Um, you, so you came in here in 2015, you said, or 16? It was the end of the 2015. Okay. Right this time, I guess. So, in that time between now, then and now, you have become a U.S. citizen, you have earned your high school diploma, you applied for the Sac County Sheriff's, and you're about to finish tr uh, training? The Academy, yes. The Academy. Well, holy smokes, that is unbelievable, Raheen. And so congratulations to you. Um, I mean, what a journey you, you have you. gone on. Um, Zora. Yes. Tell us about your journey um, um, in in because you're also involved in in our California Innovative Career Academy or Independent Study Program. How's that going for you? Um, and, and and tell us what you've accomplished there and what you're currently doing now with uh, with school. Well, like uh, before coming here, as soon like as I knew that we are leaving to the United States, I had so many plans on my head when I arrived there, I'm going to do this and that. Like uh, once uh, I arrived here, I got that I'm pregnant on my son and like things changed. Like I was, oh, I have to wait for a little bit while, like till my son get older and stuff. So as soon as my son was born, I then I realized that my son has some delays and some areas like a speech delay and steps then i again i got the stat because i had to take him to ABA therapy and so many other therapies and stuff so i i asked friends and everybody i go to schools like adult schools let's say like the things i wanted to make it easier for me as a mom of three kids like so much is responsibility on, on me but everywhere I go, I didn't get the response I wanted. Like everywhere I used to go, even on out of the school, like I had to go in person. I had to do so many, I had to spend so much time there and stuff. And I didn't, I wasn't at that point to do all those things. But finally, when I got it through my husband that I see how Sika is working really good, like especially for somebody like me. And I was like, yeah, this is the place I want to, do my high school diploma, but and once he was done with that, I did. I started doing mine. And let's me let me mention my teacher's name, Jimmy Myers. She is fantastic. 
before starting the school, I asked her, I told her my whole situation. And I was like, uh, I want to start the school to get my high school diploma, but still I am confused whether I can do this or not because I have these responsibilities. And she is really helpful. She is like, I, I can't say words, like more words to explain how kind she is. And my counselor, uh, Claudia Pisano, she is, sure. they, are, they are fantastic. Yeah, they really helped me. And Sika, like, it's really good. Yeah, I can't. Oh, hey, Roheen, uh, let me just say, you're going to be a Sacramento County Sheriff, which is going to be a tough job. But boy, nothing compares to being a mom of three, does it, Zora? <laughs> that's, that's true. That is true. Um, in, uh, I mean, my kids, my two daughters and Zora, the, since I started Academy, like, um, I have to wake up like at four o'clock in the morning to get ready and then be in the Academy six o'clock, 6.30 some days. She wakes up at the same time to do the some of the stuff like I need to get ready. So it's not just me graduating from the Academy, like they're have done a lot of things to just, it's, it was not possible just without Zora and my other two daughters. They were just helping me and hand to hand, like to just go within the Academy. It was a it, tough journey. It's a definitely a family affair, isn't it? To, to, yes. to, to do that. And so, so, and so Zora, you, you, you have graduated, you've earned your high school diploma from Sika, from Highland. I, I and, did. And, and, and what are you doing now with Asher College? Like before graduating, before like it comes at the point to like get my high school diploma, I talked to my teacher, Jimmy Myers, and like my counselor, Claudia Pisano. I talked to them and I asked them, what about if I want to continue like going to college or something? Like I just wanted to ask and I even didn't want it like expecting to have like something, a program like that to, like joining college and Claudia, like she sent me so many resources, like there are these resources if you want to continue with her. And I was like surprised. I said, Let, let's join, let's try. And now I am going to Asher College. I am doing like business essentials with them. And also right now, like sometimes it can, I'm coming at the point, like my kids get sick or what, something happens that, I don't think sometimes I'm coming at the point to give up, but then my teacher, like Jimmy Myers, I mentioned, and my uh, counselor, they are amazing. They like, they are always encouraging me. They are like, even they give me some time and they are asking me, you can take your time. We can understand you have responsibilities. And then once you are done with the situation, you can continue. And earlier, I forget to mention, like before coming here, I used to work with United Nations, with UNICEF. And I worked there, let's say for nine years or something. And then one of my other dreams was to work with US Embassy in, in Afghanistan. So I did both, like before getting here, before coming here, I worked with US Embassy. And I earlier I mentioned before coming here, I had so much like dreams. I'm going to do this and that. But uh, when I came here, I search around, I look around and I see and I was like, just at the point I gave up and I was like, no, with all the kids and stuff I can do. But yeah, Sika is amazing. Like, in, like from home at my own piece, I did like <laughs> my yeah, own piece. Go ahead. Like Sorry to cut you off. Um, yeah, Sika is a great opportunity for people for like like us, you know. Uh, there's been a lot going on around the world, you know. There's a lot of immigration going on. There's a lot of people coming to California for the last few years. A lot of Afghans, Ukrainians. Um, um, it's been, it's a great opportunity for people like that, like to take this advantage and move on uh, as quick as possible. Because, yeah, I know Highlands uh, also offers like other high school programs, like uh, um, in person that they can go and uh, continue education. 
if if someone like us like uh if it's like if they're like running out of time um they can just start sika and continue their education and get their high school diploma it's really it's it's i can't uh say enough about it like how flexible they are and it's it's totally self-paced so i'm really happy that i was introduced and referred by the sack sheriff to just yeah, i that, thought hey, like listen, uh, it, me, it would take that, me another year or so that, to get that was that was so great to hear that the sack county sheriff department referred you to highland yeah. and yeah. uh that that warms my heart that they knew about highlands and that and that they uh referred you because we're 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 a better school because you and zora came to, to highlands um yeah. raheem when do you start when do you so you so you, the academy's coming up to an end when do you actually start um as a sheriff so uh next week is our academy graduation um if you would like to attend you're more than welcome man uh, and uh so uh, and we will have uh some rifle classes afterwards uh which is required by DOJ and uh we will start jail ops afterwards and i'm basically hired from day one of the academy it's it's like a different process we have different recruits attending the academy some of them are uh sponsored some of them are not based on the process in their application on what's going on so everything was cleared up for me when i applied i was just stuck with the high school diploma and when i got the email they sent the referral and i thought like okay i'm going to be stuck another year or so maybe to get my high school diploma you know because there's no way i can get it like quick there's i didn't know it was going to be that quick you know that i can do it well one uh, of the greatest things that happened is when you made that phone call huh yes so i called i talked to them and i was like i still i had so many questions and i was like never mind i'm going to go to the address by myself and i'm going to talk to some people over there and tell them what's going on i can say i was stressed out he was like at the, that time like every time you could see him sitting in his laptop like working and i like, oh my god for a high school diploma i did all the procedure and this thing is going to stack <laughs> me for maybe a year or something <laughs> and i was like take it easy <laughs> yeah the good thing was um they took my um high school transcripts that i had from afghanistan it was all translated and everything um so they evaluated it and came back to me like okay you need these many credits to finish and get your high school diploma and i was like okay so most of it was um in english that was required which we didn't of have course. in afghanistan and uh US history was um some of it and uh had to do some electives so basically they are very flexible like they can do sika it's is like um you can get credit like uh they can give you work credit for electives also if you're a US citizen like you became a US citizen um naturalized you can talk to them you can get some credits for that for the US civics um yeah all those so, so it sounded like it, it was easier to get through the process than you had originally thought exactly that's that's why i'm trying to put in the words i'm i'm trying to explain like how easy it was and i thought out initially when they sent me the sacramento sheriff sent me an email with the link of the highlands and told me to speak to them i thought like oh, it's, it's another process that might take me another year or so to finish it and then i can move my application with the sac sheriff but no it i finished it in in a matter of like 27 days of course i was awake like every night until 3 4 o'clock in the morning to finish uh and get all the credits done um because that's what i wanted to do um and I did it. Well, I said we are the ones like we recommend everybody we know, we see we recommend Sika. Like my brother while I was doing 
my high school diploma with Sika. I recommend my brother at the same time. So we both graduated at the same day. And once we were done, like uh, Ruhin recommended his brother, and now he's doing with the Sika. Well, listen, it, it is, uh, first of all, let me just say it's been an unbelievable pleasure to, to meet you uh, both. And it's been a, a, an honor to hear your story uh, from coming over from Afghanistan to the Sheriff's Department, to Asher College, to both being high school graduates here in the United States. Um, it sounds like uh, you, you're well on your way to, 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 to um, really enjoying life. Yeah, um, I mean, I would say the same. It's been, it's been an honor. Like, I was really happy, and I can't express like how happy I was when I got into Sika program and I was like it was kind of making me think I'm much more closer to what my dream was to do that initially what I thought of um, yeah it was like in every single staff I met at Sika or Highlands uh, they held some gatherings throughout the program and every time I'm went there and I spoke to them. Um, the staff is really awesome. They have a lot of information. Um, I know there's some people who are like, they don't know their Sika exists, like Highlands, it exists there. And um, every person I talk to, uh, as soon as I find out like they're stuck in something similar to this, I was like, do this, do Sika, go to Highlands and get your uh, diploma or degree, whatever you need to do. Just speak to them. They might have something for you. I have a recruit friend who is in the academy with me who is uh, who is supposed to finish his high school, and he is with Sika. And I help him out, like, go talk to this person, go talk to this person at Sika. They'll help you out. And, uh, so, yeah. Thank you so much. And, and again, uh, Rohin and Zara, thank you so much for... Uh, spending some of your uh, afternoon with me and, and it's certainly been an unbelievable pleasure to have you both on the mic. Well, thank you thank so you. much, Mike. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, we really appreciate to getting the time and making the time to talk to both of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you both. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.